Hey everybody, this is Nikki. Welcome to your reading. Thank you all for joining me. Nikki Virgo 111. Let's get started. Uh, this is your summer of 2023. Okay. If you all are Virgo, I did this reading on the Virgo channel. I'm going to put it in this reading so you can watch it. If you are Virgo, if you're not a Virgo, still watch it if it draws your attention. Okay. This is a collective summer 2023 reading. You're going to be dealing with a uh, person, a woman with dark hair or dark complexion. Okay. Uh, a sincere a, a sincere wish will be granted. Dealings or relationship with a younger man. This could be a couple here. And your wishes are being granted. Younger man. Dealings or relationships with a younger man. Pay attention to your health. Okay. Pay attention to your health. Danger, especially in money matters. So watch money. Watch the money that you're spending here. There, there looks like there could be some sort of uh, confrontation or, or some disrespectful moments here with somebody um, dealing with money between you and somebody. I don't know if you have dark hair, dark complexion, or this could be two people that's coming in you. Wow. Coming in you? Sorry. What I'm saying is, I mean, what I was saying is, Dark hair, woman, younger man, this could be a couple, but this could be two people that are challenging you when it comes to money. OK, um, pay attention to your health, though, too. So I feel like this is just some stuff that you need to be watching out for. OK, summer 2023 reading for the collective. Dealings or relationship with an older woman. Now, this is the energy I'm picking up on where even before I pull this older woman card. Pay attention to your health. So this could be some energy around a family member who is, you know, um, possibly sick. All right. And you're possibly dealing with some sisters and brothers or even some some other family members in your family who you shouldn't be watching out. You should be watching out for them because I'm, I'm they're here to mess with some money. Your a, a sincere wish will be granted. It's like your mother or your father or some family member wants you to carry out their wishes, okay, their their last wishes or whatever. But you got these two people here who you need to be watching out for, okay, who you need to be watching out for. These are the people you need to be watching out for. It could be sister, brother, sister, sister, brother, brother, auntie, uncle, whoever. Whoever is in this family, you know who they are, who you need to be watching out for, okay? Uh, they are just especially around money, okay? They want everything. They, they want everything, but you already know what, what this person wants. You already know their wishes. They told you because you are the one, you are the, the, the responsible one. And, and it's what she wants. Or it could be a man, older man. Okay. It's what this person wants that's that's um that's important and that you are are talking about and that, that they're talking to you. Well, the reader, I'm sorry, the me, the reader, or the reader, if you're a reader, or the person who's watching, there's definitely something that she specifically, I'm very explic explicably wants you to do, okay? Uh, wants you to carry out. But you got two people here that may not want that to happen. They may not allow it to happen. Good fortune, okay? I think money is definitely going to be involved here. You got to watch out for this, though. Um, you know, when it comes to money, that can that can really hurt a lot of people in, in negative ways. So kind of be watching out. Uh, kind of just pay attention to that. Pay attention to your health, too. You know, because I feel like this person is sick, possibly will get sick. And, and you are to be the caretaker. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Good advice from a wise person. So I feel like this person is very wise. She's going to give you some advice. You know, that's why she's talking to you. That's why she wants you or he wants you to help with the situation, but with them being sick or possibly on their deathbed, if that's the case. Uh, um, I'm, I'm sorry for that, but they're, they're giving you some advice and they're very, very wise. They know that you are that you are wise and you will carry out to the, to the best of your ability what they want done. All right. But I kind of got a feeling that people aren't going to give you that opportunity to do that out of honoriness, out of selfishness out of them being um, upset because of the role that you play in the, in this person's life, don't be tempted to lower your standards, all right? 
Don't be tempted to lower your standards. Let those people fall by the wayside. Whatever they want to do, just let them fall. You keep your head held high and you walk in your integrity. F them. Okay. So, uh uh, no, no. You know, I just feel like they're going to try to take what's yours. Take, I'm hearing, take what's rightfully yours. You can't let that happen. But if it does, walk away. Brush yourself off and walk away. All right. And two, you, you could be meeting someone special this summer. Okay, you could be meeting someone special, but definitely pay attention to your surroundings. Uh, take a like, pay a, take another look at the people who claim they love you and your family. Take another look at the members of your family. Look, the casket. Someone is going out of your life or the end of a situation. Don't lower don't lower your standards. And some of you are, some of you already know. That this person is 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 coming to the, into the end of their life. They gave you this information. You already wrote that stuff down. What they want, their last wishes. You know, it kind of puts me in the mind of imitation of life. She had what what he what they needed to bury her. All the details and everything. Those she wanted to be uh, didn't want anybody mourning at her funeral. She wanted to be um, wanted to be led to the cemetery with some horses, and they did exactly what she wanted them to do. Okay, I feel like. You know what this person wants or wanted in the past, okay? How they wanted their, their I mean, cremation, how they wanted their ceremony to be, whatever, okay? And they didn't follow the rules. They didn't They didn't hear the, converse, the conversation that you heard with this person, all right? But I feel like they just want to run, take everything and exclude you on everything. We got a frying pan here, okay? Trouble and accusations. They're accusing you of stealing, of, of not caring, of... of they, you don't know everything. You think you know everything. Well, mama said this or daddy said that or grandma or whoever said this, you know, so they're going uh, beyond. They're not even following what, what your mother or loved one wanted. Why? Possibly they didn't know. Possibly they did know. But you knew for a fact what he or she wanted. But they're not listening to you. Why? Because they don't give a fuck. OK. You sit up on the throne and they don't like that. They, they don't like that you were the person that was truly there for, for that elder or that person who was passing away, but you were there. You were devoted. Though they said you weren't, they said that you weren't there or you didn't do what you said, but you were the, the person that was at the position that held this position of, of authority, all right? And they couldn't stand you for that. It was something about your glow that they didn't like, all right? It's like your, your glow offended them. How could your, my glow, what I do in my life, offend you, Okay. But it did. It did. You have a very toxic relationship with these people in your family. All right. It's, it's so crazy. Unsuccessful. I, I've come to a problem. It's Yeah, I really do think that you need to leave this situation alone because it's not going to ever straighten out the right way. Maybe if you walk away and come back a few years, it'll be changed. But I, I just feel like, you know, move on and do you live your life. OK, this is never going to be as cohesive as you think it, it is or as you think it ought to be, as you want it to be. It's not going to be that way. OK, you just want to keep on hurting yourself if you think if you think that it is. All right. Romance, celebration in a party. You may meet this person at a party. Somebody brand new. We're talking about relationships, family. But here we're talking about a love relationship could be coming your way this this uh, this this summer. OK, but I'm also I'm also, I'm also hearing fall. Summer into fall, you may be uh, in the process of getting to know somebody, meeting them this summer, but it's carrying on into the fall. Like you're constantly talking to somebody, getting to know that person. You may meet this person at a party. You may meet this person on the 4th of July. Okay, You may look up at the, at the sky at 9 o'clock or whenever they pop the, the fireworks and this person is standing there next to you enjoying the moment. Oh, hey, what's your name? My name is Ethel. What's your name? Fred. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Summer of 2023. And this energy is totally different from the reading idea for Virgo. Totally different. We have here August. August is summer. So this could be kicking off in August, okay? Or you could be an August baby. Uh, stepping into a new experience. You're stepping into a new experience in love, okay? 
and, and meeting somebody, putting yourself out there first. You got to get out there if you want to meet somebody. If you want to date somebody, you got to go out there and act like you're available. I'm not saying go out there and be, look desperate, but be open, you know, and hey, what's your name? You know, my name's Ricky. What's yours? Lucy. All right. My my name is, is Luke. What's your name? Laura. Okay. Yeah, situations and balance that require careful handling. So in order for you to handle this situation um, to the best that you can possibly handle it, I honestly think you just need to walk away. You know, you couldn't follow through with, with what your loved one wanted before they passed away. They told you everything you needed to know and they didn't follow suit. They didn't listen to you. You didn't matter. You didn't have any say in the, or input in the funeral arrangements or the clothes she wore or he wore or anything. You, nothing that you said mattered, and that hurts like hell. But you know what? You're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. Summer of 2023, please. We have her June. A new home and new attitude. So that came out in the Virgo reading. This is a new home. Some of you have possibly gotten a new home since since June. We're in July. Maybe you're in a new place. No, we're in June now. I don't know why I said July. Maybe your birthday is in July. Or maybe you're you're just now applying for it in, in, in June. In July is when you're moving to your new home. Okay. And we have here, uh, don't sit, don't back down from opposition. So so show don't back down from opposition. Okay, show strength and fortitude. Don't back down. These people going these people going to disrespect you possibly for the rest of your life. The best thing you can do is brush yourself off and try again. You know, I just wouldn't deal with it. You know, um, I don't deal with my family too much after my mother passed away. I, one brother that I talk to pretty much every day, if not every other day. You know, so sometimes you gotta leave family alone. Family can be your your her, your worst haters. You know, we got some unsuccessful plans. Got some plans that you want to make, or the plans that that you that your loved one set out to make with you, only you knew, but the plans weren't successful. So just because they passed away, or they will, they won't blame you because they are on the other side. They'll be seeing exactly what's going on. Okay, so don't feel like it's a bad thing. You know, um, what's done is done, and you can't change the situation. You sure as hell can't change them. Just gotta let it go. Dealings or relationship with a younger woman, all right? It could be anybody who is younger, darker hair, ignorant, stupid. You will be playing a different role, okay? So you're not playing the role that they want you to play. They want you to succumb to what it is they say, to accept what it is that they say, you know? You know, you're, the role that you played was an important role, and they didn't see that because they couldn't stand it. I don't want to see you doing anything. All right. So I feel like they are really, really backstabbing you. They don't want to see you. I'm hearing that sound backstabbers. Okay. They don't want to see you do anything. You know, you got a new job or career coming for you. Someone working against you behind your back. I told you. I told you. Okay. This family member, you all possibly have the same tone, skin tone or something like that. But... <clears throat> Um, I just feel like they possibly always made you out to be the bad guy, but they're behind your back doing this behind your back to make it seem like you are the problem. Like you're the person that, um, that shouldn't make any decisions or what you're, or, or you are, uh, uh, we better sign this paperwork before so-and-so gets her hands on it. I get, and you won't do anything against your loved one, not a doggone thing, but they think you will. They say you will, cause that's how shady they are, not you working against you behind your back. And that's sad that your own family, that your own loved ones can do anything like this to you. But you know what? Don't worry about it. Because we have here a new career is coming to you. Something that you possibly already started. You are very, very well about to be rewarded here this summer. OK, with a new job and a new career. And somebody you possibly or they well, they who passed away um, or who got sick, possibly was diagnosed with cancer. That's possibly one of the ways that they passed away. I'm hearing cervical cancer or I'm hearing something about the liver was going on. Um, could also be colon cancer or something. Summer of 2023 for the collective. 
you feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. So you're going to be meeting somebody here. You're going to have a new job and you're setting new goals. So all that's going to be null and void. Okay. Just give this summer a chance to find you and allow yourself to find what's new for you this summer. Despite the disappointments, this, despite the losses, and I know that's hard to hear and hard to deal with and hard to handle. Let these people go. We got October. October, you should be A-OK. -okay. Yeah, warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. I told you it's going to be, a, it's, it's, this, is a, this is an issue. Them, them people blaming you for things you didn't do. I didn't think that you would be capable enough of following out her wishes or his wishes. You have the stuff written down. You know exactly what it is they want. They just didn't want to listen to you. They want to do stuff their way. And that's so sad. You know, that's so sad. <laughs> we have deep friendship with someone of the same sex. So, and you could be meeting somebody who could be become a great friend, a great listener to you also, as well as a great, I'm saying a mentor to you. Okay. <laughs> uh, taking a vacation physically or mentally. You're, you're moving on away from this. You're not letting stuff bother you. You're done. And this card, this is going to be the, the final message here uh, with this deep friendship card. I'm hearing, I was watching Joyce Jefferson one time. And he was saying, he was saying, I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is the door. Now get the hell out. So tell those people that say, listen, I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is the door. Now get the hell out. That's what you tell these people. Because they're it's so sad that you have people in your family, Virgo, who I'm sorry, not Virgo, anybody who's watching, I'm just used to saying Virgo. It's these people in your family who you grew up with, who you grew up around, who you loved first before anything else, that they can treat you this way. And that's so, so sad. But sometimes you got to step out on your own faith and say, fuck them. 